So in the last few days, uh, there have been a lot of uh, press coverage over Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's health. Uh, he visited the Keio University uh, Medical Hospital um, twice uh, in a week, and there are fears that he might be actually be losing his good health and might resign as he did uh, back in 2006, I think. And so there are many rumors and, you know, and there are many discussions who would succeed Mr. Abe if and when he resigned. But characteristically, this is very true of Japanese politics and there are no, almost no discussions about the future of Japan or, you know, what uh, political action should be taken on the conceptual level. No, it's just about uh, the old boys network, I mean, again. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, these elders of the Liberal Democratic Party are uh, holding a series of private meetings, eating uh, steaks and, you know, having a good time with over wine and so on. And they are discussing who should succeed Mr. Abe if and when he resigns. And um, this is just based on the personality merit. I mean, you know, we, well, of course, we have some ideas about uh, which uh, can, possible candidate is having uh, certain uh, political directions and all these things, and we have a vague idea. But this, these discussions never take place out in the open. I mean, there are no open discussions about uh, political directions in Japan, which is really weird, I, I admit, but which is taken from granted, especially by the Japanese press, you know, newspapers and TVs, and they just discuss who would be the, you know, likely candidate, as if it is a rumor in the village, who should be the next uh, head of the, some obscure village, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, organization. And, you know, so this is really weird uh, in 21st century. Uh, it is also weird that most of the candidates are men, middle-aged men. But, you know, this is Japan, and uh, I used to it. I'm just making some noise here in this English language because this kind of objection to the status quo, to of the Japanese political system and Japanese traditional media, newspapers and TVs and usual suspects, and I never, almost never heard. <laughs> so I'm, I'm the odd one out. I feel I am saying the right thing, but you know, the powers that be, uh, in politics and in media, they are just concerned about who should be the next head of this village. <laughs> this is really weird. Without any discussions on political directions, concepts, and you know, we're living in a difficult time. But there's no reference to that. Isn't that strange? Welcome to the first that is Japanese politics.